Alright, hello everyone, and today we will be looking at some more new features from the Mythical Races. I've, I'm assuming you already know how to configure the plugin from before, so I'm going to tell you the new configuration options, and that's pretty much it, because I'm assuming you did watch two videos before this, and yes, it is long, I know, but whatever. It's just the way it is. Alright, so, now first off, we're going to go into our Mythical Races folder. We're going to upload a config, edit with con notepad plus plus. Okay, and we have new feeding things. We have two new level types. We have the miner, we have the woodcutter. Of course, woodcutter is just cutting wood. You can XP, miner, stuff like that, etc. You can know that part. So something new here is called check updates. That's true. I mean, that's not true. That's that's new. Okay, so it's now going to notify you if the blood needs an update. So this is kind of important right here. If you read it, read it, if the player switches a base race, then their level gets turned back to zero, right? And that's it's a true. So for example, if I were going to the game, do such races, choose elf, my level got set back to zero. However, if I went to do such races tree and then got one of these books, right? It would be, um, it wouldn't reset my level. But if I went to another base race, then it would reset my level. All right, okay, moving on, something new, new, new. Okay, these two new things. Now we have two more arguments onto the data. We have this one, and we have this one. Now the very last argument is actually the world, so the world name. So apply speed and only world world, right? Or only a world survival world, however you call your worlds. It is capital instance, do you remember that? All meaning all worlds. Okay, now this argument here, this is a new argument. Though this is, uh, can either be three things. It can either be, oops, it can either be all, false or it can be true now what this means is it's the weather so if it is uh, storming right then apply speed right however if it's then then only apply speed if it's not storming okay that's what the true and false means no, you can't specify if it's like snow or something to actually specify if it's like you're snowing in a snow biome, then you just put all the snow biomes inside the first arg argument here. And then you list all the snow biomes and then set this to true and be like, hey, you get special effect when it's snowing inside snow biomes. Right, so that's pretty much what it means. That's what true and false means, the, if it's storming or not, then apply it. Um, what else do we have new? Okay, so there's a couple bug fixes. Okay, and the couple bug fixes were uh, the hunting, Every time you hit a player or hit like an enemy or something like that, you always got XP. Now that's actually fixed. Okay, and we have a couple new things. You can now set a, uh, what's it called? One second. Okay, you can finally set a uh, player as a sub race now using the admin command set race. So we can finally do slash races uh, set high human. And corpse D, and then now my race is now high human, right? Before it wouldn't allow me to do this. Well, I added it or coded it into at least so now I can do this. And what else is new? Uh, we have a few new commands. Uh, a new one being you can now check the uh, profile of another player. So if we just refresh the profile to my alt account here, we can now actually see someone else's uh, race. But of course, that requires uh, a, a specific permission that will be on the uh, speaker page, uh, of course. Uh, let's see, what else did we and did add? Go back over here. Uh, let me think. Oh yeah, okay, so another command is the ability to uh, set a player's level now. So if I were, if I, I'm the high human right now, so if we do such races, level set, and then corpse D, and then let's say level 20, now my level's 20. So this is a new thing. It's really nice, especially if you want to test races or something like that. If, so if I go back to uh, corpse D, zero, and my, my level's now zero, and then go back to races, choose human, right? And then you're like, hey, I want to test out this awesome sub race here that looks really cool, but it's really not, right? But you can't select it because, like, hey, your level's not high enough. So now you can finally use this command to actually uh, go to this nice new tree. Like, it's quite useful. 
this is really only for admins because this can be seriously abused. So you can be level a thousand or ten thousand. Now, if you're level a thousand as a high human, you are very powerful. Okay, very very powerful. <laughs> uh, poor anything that's yeah. Yeah, just if you're level like one thousand as high human, just say like, goodbye to every other race because then this, this is the best race. That's a little secret to everyone that out there who doesn't know what the high human actually is. The higher level you are as high human, the better you are. You don't need to keep watching this, by the way. I'm just doing random stuff. There's nothing new with the plugin. That's pretty much all. It's just bug fixes stuff like that. But uh, now, if you would like to uh, join me in this nice, nice walk here, right? We will now walk down these, this, uh, everything, and enjoy the environment. Oh, how lovely. Oh my god. Isn't this nice? You see this cow? What a nice looking cow. Hi cow. How are you? See this? I, I honestly I just wanted to show my the resource pack in the shader at the same time. Some people think it looks like absolute garbage, but I think it looks pretty nice. It looks nice. It's called the Faithful Pack. As with the what shader was it? It was with the yeah the Silver's Vibrant shader. So it was really nice. It's really cool. All right, I think that's probably gonna be all. Thank you very much for watching. If you did make it this far, and I don't know why you made it this far, but Hey, that's that's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, have a good night, guys, and or day, and I shall see you later. Now, where's that stopper? Oh, there it is.